we begin with a mattress and the bed model both grouped into one top level group and what we'll do is assign it a collider property and uh, our first step would be to simulate pillows and then after simulating the pillows we will simulate the blanket over the mattress and the pillows so let's begin by drawing a 50 by 70 sized pillow and uh, grouping it and uh, I'll move it over here so it's visible and uh, let's assign it a cloth property and uh, then apply a quadrilateral grid with 3000 squares so here's the grid and uh, our next step would be to generate a thickness for the for the pillow and before we do this we want to approximate how that much thickness do we need and it seems like a thickness of 0 0.8 or 0 0.75 centimeters would be suitable so we generate the thickness 0 0.75 cm and if we omit the centimeter students then the default units are used and currently the default model units are set to centimeters so but this will be 0 0.5 centimeters which is the same as 0 0.5 cm and so press ok and here's the pillow with uh, a thickness and uh, what we're going to do next is adjust some properties we would like to set thickness to 2 millimeters turn on self collision and turn off preserve shape this will force the cloth to unwrap itself at, at the corners and uh, as a result this will force the pillow to inflate well of course provided the bending stiffness is high enough and we leave the stretch stiffness as 0 0.5 and then we adjust simulation properties and for the simulation properties we uh, turn off the gravity we can turn off the viscosity initially and we want to have the draw with OpenGL API turned on this will draw cloth with a custom drawing function which will make it look much more clear and increase simulation performance so having adjusted both the cloth and the simulation properties we can now press play and you can see the pillow inflating due to the uh, corners unwrapping itself themselves if we were to turn on preserve shape this will force the pillow to return to its original uh, shape but of course we want the uh, pillow to look like a pillow so we turn off the preserve shape option so once the pillow inflates we want to increase viscosity to full and let's, let's let it unwind first over here and once it does that let's also decrease the stretch stiffness so that our corners are not as sharp and having done that we now increase viscosity and it's a large pillow and uh, we can let's increase the stretch stiffness so the pillow deflates a little bit all right and now we can turn on the bending stiffness when we turn on the bending stiffness you can see the wrinkles forming on the edges and uh, sometimes turning it off entirely is bad so we want a little bit 
I would say 0 0.1 is a good value and uh, having those values you then can make some deformations to the pillow and once we are satisfied with all the deformations we can stop simulation and this is how our pillow looks but the problem is this pillow wasn't laying over the uh, mattress so it, this doesn't look realistic right so what we want to do we want to place the pillow over the mattress make this mattress uh, 0 0.2 thickness we can reduce friction and uh, we want to increase gravity so that the pillow falls over the mattress a little bit we don't want we don't want it high and we want to make the bending stiffness high again so we press play and the pillow will slowly fall over the mattress let's, let's reduce this so once the pillow falls we I paused the simulation and then I increased viscosity entirely and uh, we slightly reduce the bending stiffness and we turn off the gravity so if we press play again there we go this is our result and I suppose I reduce the bending stiffness too much and so what I'll do I'll just There you go, this is better. And once we are set, we can once again increase the viscosity, reduce the bending stiffness to uh, a small value, or like 0 0.2, and now we can uh, apply desired deformations. pillow and uh, once we have uh, deformations we press stop and uh, this is our pillow and as you can see over here we have some issues the corners are too sharp so what we're gonna do we're gonna press play and uh, we will reduce stretch stiffness to easing up the load on the corners and I also want to introduce some wrinkles so I will turn off the bend stiffness reduce the viscosity alright and there we go and maybe this is a little too much banded, so I'll just increase the bending stiffness a little bit. There we go. All right. So here's our pillow, and uh, this pillow is obviously laying over the bed. So what we're gonna do? We can apply loop subdivision to make it smoother, but we will not do this because um, eventually we'll have to make this pillow a collider and uh, if the resolution of the pillow is too high the it will take a long time for the simulation to start and so the key to the key to keep in mind is that the resolution is not high and eventually we will have to drape the uh, I mean the blanket over this so we need the resolution of the pillow to be small so let's make it uh, we can remove all the saved history such the drape history which will uh, you know allow it to drape or undrape but we can uh, let's just keep it for now and what I will do is 
I will make a copy of the pillow. You can of course simulate a new pillow if you need to. And I will turn it a little bit so it doesn't look too identical. And I will place it here. And now I will I will make those pillows colliders, okay? Because when we simulate blanket over the pillows and the mattress, we want both the pillows and the mattress as colliders. Having the uh, pillows, we can now simulate a blanket over the uh, pillows and the mattress and also the edges of the bed. So what we'll do is draw a rectangle from one to the other edge of the bed and move it slightly upwards. Here we let's make this 30 yeah let's make this 20 and this side let's make it go over by 10 this side 20 and that side by 20 and we will curve this rectangle lift it a little higher and of course we want the simulation properties to be uh, with gravity and we don't need viscosity and for the cloth we want the thickness to be 2 millimeters self collision to be turned on the stretch to be 0 0.5 then 0 0.01 and uh, we also want oops I forgot yeah so we want this too 0 0.01 0 0.5 self collide turned on and we want Adaptive remission to be set to 6, resolution of 6. And before we simulate, we want to apply a small grid. And the grid should have a resolution of 50. And uh, this is a really small resolution, but the adaptive remission will force the resolution to increase where necessary. So here we adjusted the properties, and we can now simulate the blanket there we go as you can see resolution gets higher higher where the angle between two faces two linked faces is greater than a certain threshold So we wait until the cloth settles and then we press stop. Here's the result, and uh, now what we should do now is we can apply. Wait, let's simulate this a little more. Doesn't look too good. Yeah, let's. Alright, let's just press stop. And uh, having that simulated, we can now apply lip subdivision. This takes time because this is a high resolution cloth in most of the places. Right here's the flip subdivision. Not much of difference. That looks fine. And uh, what we can do now is we can generate thickness. And uh, 
when we generate thickness, the thickness is generated toward the uh, front side of the faces. And for this bed, I would say we may want the thickness of. Uh, let's make it 0 0.5 centimeters or 0 0.3 and uh, this will take time all right and here's the thickness What we can do now is assign a material if necessary. So we undrape it, which also takes time. There we go. And now we assign a desired material. Patterns. Let's assign this material. Takes time. All right. The size is good. And now, with the material assigned, we can now click on drape. Alright, and this is the result. This concludes the tutorial for simulating a blanket over the pillows and the mattress. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.